Greetings, everybody! In the last episode of Final Fantasy IX, we uh, had a rather short episode, actually. We just kind of ran around Dolly Village, really. It didn't do a whole lot. But, fear not, for this episode will be action-packed. And, yeah, so fun stuff is ahead. Anyways, Vivi was late meeting back up with us at the inn, so Dagger and uh, Zaiden here are going to go look for him. Wait a minute. The last time I saw Vivi, he was standing over there. So he was. So. Did I hear a chocobo? There was a quest sound. And that appears to be the chocobo sound. So let's scope this place out. Huh? <laughs> Someone crying. That would seem to be the indication here. The hole. Looks more like a pipe than a hole. Well, I suppose there is a hole in the ground, it just happens to occupy a pipe. Sidon? Vivi, where are you? Are you underground? Can you move? You told me to stay here. Hmm, what's going on? It appears to be okay. Don't worry, we'll get you out. That we will. Stay put. Alright. So he's obviously underground, so that means we have to find a way to get underground, obviously. Well, I think I just... Never mind, that was a really weird sentence. Or thought, rather. Jeez. Okay, anyways. It seems like such a quiet village. So it does. But you know what they say about quiet villages, or people? I don't know. They're supposed to be evil maniacal, right? Anyways, if we come back around here in this windmill area, you can get an Ares, which is actually a very important... I don't pause. I think I'm gonna show this off real quick here. If we go to the key items... Ares, the story of 12 Zodiacs. The 11 Zodiacs pondered how best to catch Virgo's heart. Ares headed east. Yeah, anyways, these are part of the Stelazio, or Stelazio... Something like that, coin collection. Which is pretty rare... Or, I guess hard to find key items here, and they're they're going to be pretty important for the quest, or uh, not the quest, but... <sighs> okay, let me start over. You should find these Stelazio coins, because you can get some really awesome items for uh, collecting them later in the game, so I'm going to definitely be trying to find all of them. Uh, in fact, I'm sure I will be finding all of them, so yeah, let's, let's move on to the story before I blunder over any more horrible explanations of things. There's a cool breeze. Yeah, heck yeah, we're going down. What the heck? We have to get down underground somehow. Oh, jeez. Whole kind of fortress factory-like area down here. By which I mean there's a giant tunnel with a bunch of torches. I guess it's more like a mine kind of shaft thing going on. 156 gill? What the heck is with their obsession with random gill numbers in this? Well, I suppose it is a nice change of pace. This isn't. Isn't what? Just a regular underground storage facility. Whoa! Ah, we got a genius over here. Shh! What are we shushing? Now there's some people in there. Why is it moving? Is it true the mayor's brother found it? I guess they reconciled. His brother's one of us now. One of us. One of us. The old lady side. Well, I guess she's the one that wants to keep the farm. That would make sense. So, we could, uh, so apparently the innkeeper is related to the mayor and they're having some kind of fight. In a box? Wait, but what in a box? The castle? Yep, we're in charge of production, huh? Something, the pattern on this barrel. Hmm. Vivi? Yeah, what the heck? There he is. They've got him. Uh, Dagger, no, stop pulling us back. Even though they could have clearly seen us there. Oh well. What the heck? We gotta go get Vivi, Dagger. What are you doing? Stop it. Ah. Yeah, what the heck? The large barrel next to shed. Yeah, what about it? Exact same pattern on some of the. Bar Ooh, so the barrel is related to the castle. Alexandria Castle, of course. Some kind of. Yeah, that's what I just said, more or less. Well, that would make sense. Oh, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll keep our trouble causing down for the bit. For the moment. What? Oh, I need 
need to speak coherently here. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Deeper into this cave. The, now that you think about it, well, yeah. Anyways, get a potion in here. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Yeah. There's a chocobo. Oh, another treasure over here. Treasures are everywhere! Alright, let's get going. Hmm, more crates and stuff. Coffin. I guess that is kind of like a coffin. It's kind of grim, actually. Uh, we'll check that barrel later. First, let's get the treasure on up here. There we go. And an other. No, not too bad. You can always use others for emergencies. And uh, to get that treasure, let's uh, kick this thing. Drop kick it. That's always the answer. And a potion. Great. If we check in this barrel here, there's a Moogle. Let's talk to this dude. Uh, Magna. What do you have? Oh, good. More mail. Because postmen's we are. Uh, I didn't see a letter from Kuma to Monkey. Uh, Mon that sounds familiar, but I, I can't remember who Monkey is. Um, actually, yeah, I think I am gonna save here. And there we go. Yeah, there's a uh, there's some pretty big stuff coming up, so I thought it would just be a good time to save. Might as well. I like to save often and frequently because I've been caught in, caught too many times uh, a sticky situation and then have not saved in, oh, yeah, not good times, so, and if we get down here, we can collect more treasure, alright, oh, because I didn't need to buy that leather wrist, I forgot that was in here, jeez, uh, I think that's all the treasures around here, is there anything back, nope, nothing, that is everything, in this area at least, what the heck is that, whoa, jeez, what? What is it? Someone's crying. Again? It's probably Vivi, then. By, uh, based on what happened last time. Vivi? Sidon? It is you! So it is. He's in that coffin at the back. And I guess they were too lazy to, uh, I don't know, animate getting him out of the coffin. So we just get the black screen with a bunch of text. And it's open. So, there he is. You left some kidnapping? No, there you go. They told me to stay put. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. Why were you outside? Hmm. Something suspicious is going on here. As I've said earlier before. Today's shipment. And they put you in that box? Hmm. Listen, baby, you gotta do something next time. Yeah. You tried screaming back or Screaming? Yeah, like, get off me, scumbag! Scumbag? <laughs> I love Dagger's reaction to all like these odd words. He's just like, what? What is this odd word? What? I don't understand. Or bad influences. Yeah, that's the way, Vivi. Let's find out what's going on. What the heck? Was that an egg? It's like a patchwork egg. Alright, so what's some stuff around here? I don't think there's anything in this thing. Um, if we can, um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there. So let's get this treasure. 95 gil. And it's okay. Uh, let's check this door out here. Is this smoke? No, this, this is mist. Alright, so if you open this door, we're gonna get into a little battle here, but it's nothing too big of a deal, so let's just do this. And what the heck, we've got a couple of odd ghosties here. Little yellow heads. Uh, and yeah, they can cast lots of magic. Um, they have access to, I think, all the elemental spells. Let's just knock one of these guys out. I want to steal from one of them if I can. And uh, so yeah, they can cast Thunder, Blizzard, and Fire, I believe, all of them. Or at least Thunder and Fire, for sure. Um, they are undead, so you can actually use white magic to uh, attack them 
it'll do damage rather than healing them. But, oh, uh, okay, whatever. We'll just knock this guy out here. If I can, there we go. Show this off. Like I said way back earlier, I'm definitely going to be trying to steal from pretty much every battle I get into. Unless this is a horrible inconvenience, so... That'll all come into play later. Oh, and Dagger gets a level up. Nice. So yeah, now that we've opened this door, this place would normally be, uh, encounterless. But, uh, yeah, as we can see here, mist monsters, huh? Now there's going to be monsters running amok in this area. And let's get this treasure before we examine anything. Phoenix down. That could be useful. What the heck is this giant machine over here? Oh, jeez. And we're back. Nothing of note in that battle, just more ghosts. Uh, so let's get back to exploring this area here. So many machines. What are they doing here? Looks like it's sending mist to the machine outside. What are those eggs made of? I'm assuming they have something to do with the mist that this machine is, like, funneling off here. Is that an egg? Yeah, we've kind of established that. Making eggs. What's what it looks like? This is a, a mist engine, but there's mist coming out of it. Well, so it's obviously using mist to function in some sort of way. We got here Chocobo and Geishal Greens. The Chocobo is powering the conveyor belt. Why don't they just use a machine to do it? Actually, that's a good question. Why the heck aren't they using a machine to do it? Here's another strange machine. Looks kind of like the mist engine on the feeder ship. It kind of does. Now that I think about it. I saw that. <laughs> doesn't have a slide there. I can almost see inside. But I can't see anything. I just hear some noise. Are the eggs hatching? Oh, that's kind of creepy. It's these weird, like... Uh... Oh, hey. Some new enemies. I guess I could show these guys off. Oh, crap. I forgot to heal Dagger. Heal! Heal, 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 heal. Um, anyways, now that we've got that little minor problem taken care of, uh, these things, I believe, are called vices. Yeah. Um, basically, one of the thing you really want to note about them is uh, not that they can cast magic, but rather that they can steal from you. Yeah, that can be really obnoxious. Uh, jeez, dang, it's hurt again. But, uh, so yeah, they can steal from you, and if they manage to pull it off, they like to run away with whatever they, whatever they nab, so be watchful of that. They can be a real pain in the butt if you let them be. Let's cure up here again. I don't want Dagger dying on me randomly. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the cure spell is... Oh, there you go. So let's take this guy out. Normally, I would just I would steal and then attack with Zidane, but like I said, these guys can run away with your items if you don't get them fast enough, so let's take this guy out before. They get a chance to do that. There we go. That's the way. Oh, geez. Do I still have Mage Masher equipped? Maybe I should do something about that. As we sit here next to the egg machine. Let's uh, upgrade side. And I guess we could upgrade the others too. Oh, no. I have the Mythic Dagger. Well, what the heck? Well, while we're here, let's uh, equip these Feather Hats. There we go. And we can get you the Leather Wrist. stuff. So let's move on and see what's happening with these eggs. Ah! What is this? It's... There. Some parts are different, but... They look like Vivi. What is this? Are they dolls? You know, what the heck? This is creepy. Why? Is my mother behind this? This is the only way. <laughs> ah, what are you doing, Zidane? <laughs> and that yeah, door's locked, so the only place we can hide is <laughs> Dagger gets muffled a little bit there. Did you say something? Nope, not me. Okay, never mind. Hurry up. Time. Well, I guess they're... Oh, there's that barrel. And, oh, there's those crates. So I guess the crates are getting stuffed in those barrels. That seems to be the case. So what the heck? We get this crazy reveal here. I guess they're making like these weird 
black mage dolls and shipping them off to Alexandria? That's odd. I wonder what they're using them for. Oh, well then again, we did see that war banner earlier on. You don't think they're using these dolls for a war, are they? Hmm. The plot thickens. Oh gosh, Steiner. <laughs> you have no tact whatsoever. You're in my way. Well, geez, grumpy old man. The rock's good. As he moses on down. I shall persevere! Is that all you're gonna say? Hmm. What do they use this place for? That's not... Well, we'll find out soon enough. Or we have found out, but I guess Steiner doesn't know yet, so... What do you have to say, old man? I'm busy. I'm grumpy. I want coffee. I walk slowly. Very slowly. Alright. <laughs> he, like, closed the door and we instantly just opened it up again. Uh, the smell of coffee relaxes me. How about a cup? Oh, thank you. What? Steiner, come on. Focus. I'm not here to drink coffee. There we go. Tell me when the cargo ship will arrive, or else the Alexandrian royal family will appropriate this property. And then what? I order you to tell me when the cargo ship will arrive. Tell me! <laughs> God dang it, Steiner. You're a very creative interrogator. Yeah, jeez. Trying to do what is right. Yeah, who decides what's right and wrong? You? I don't know. It's not that black and white. <laughs> Green is a pickle. Or a cucumber might be a better analogy. Or metaphor? I don't know. I'm all confused. It's early in the morning. I can't think straight. <laughs> Thank you. Well, at least Steiner's still courteous, so... Alright, let's uh, head over to that cargo ship, then. Ah! It's indeed the cargo ship. How can I... Now I can take the princess back to the castle. I must think of a way to get her on the ship. Hmm. What? What do you see? Oh, we got some sinister music. There's something coming out of the ground. Ah, so... <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys recognize this, but this uh, little theme here was hinted at when we were crash landing in the evil forest. Um, we saw that she the theater ship going down before it crashed. So yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. I don't know, I'm into that kind of thing, so... Make lots of them since the, they set up the factory six months ago. Six months? Uh, that's, been, that's quite a long time for this to have been going on. It appears they don't even know what they're being used for. <laughs> Let's get out of here! Ah, oh, big scary man in armor! Run away! Run away! Although I can understand, Steiner is kind of a scary dude. <laughs> oh, and there's a barrel that they left behind. This barrel. What could be inside? What could they possibly shipping out from this village? What the? Did I just see that barrel move? Hmm. Let's poke it. That's always a good idea, right? Swing! Yeah! Ow! Ouch! <laughs> what did you do that for? You! The princess. Steiner just like freaking out, and Zidane just like knocks him out by jumping on his head. Jeez. Aw. Oh. That was always that's amusing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Steiner's freakouts. They're so absurd. You scoundrel, is this your doing? Steiner, please. <laughs> yes, your heart is. <laughs> and he gets put in a little timeout there. And so Dagger didn't know what was going on in the castle. Let's stay by Vivi's side. It's a good plan, I think. This is not the time to panic. I must get the princess on board the cargo ship somehow. Then we can head back to Alexandria Castle. Yo, Rusty! Do you know when this airship's where this airship's going? Why, yes, it's Lindblum. Yes, the Lindblum. <laughs> oh gosh! But that old man in the shack told me, so it must be true. You're acting. Oh, now now Steiner's acting strange. Jeez, everyone's acting strange around here. And what the heck? Now we got another problem to deal with. You're all sent by the castle. What are you talking about? Yeah, the Black Waltz. Black Waltz number two. My power, magic, and speed make me far superior to number one. 
she won't return to the castle. Come with me. You could. Oh, jeez. This is just craziness. Hee hee hee. It's quite the warlock like laugh, or witch like laugh, maybe. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, so. Uh, he just ignores everyone's demands and pleas and requests, and. His only goal is to capture the princess alive, regardless of what else happens or how he's able to do that, so we have to get into a battle with him. Alright, I won't let you get in my way. This guy is, uh, well, let's get to the uh, standard thing here first. Is she in the back row? I hope she is. Anyways, so you want to steal from him. He's got a couple good things. Steeple hat is one of them. And as you can see, he has uh, some spells, as would be expected from a black mage of sorts. Um, how this guy works is if you cast any kind of spell against him, he'll uh, cast the same spell back, but uh, the next level up. So if you cast like a fire spell against him, then he'll uh, cast Farag against you. Uh, with the one exception of Blizzard. If you cast a Blizzard spell at him, he can only counter with Blizzard. He doesn't have Blizzard on. I guess they used that up with the uh, previous dude, Sea Lion or whatever. But yeah. Sometimes though, you will cast Blizzard and he'll still cast like Faraga against you. So whatever, what the heck? This is the way it goes, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of keep defending here until uh, I can steal the other item. Again, I might cut it out if uh, it takes forever. We'll see here. Hopefully, it won't. Maybe it will. Oh, freaking finally! Jeez, took forever to get that. As you can see in the process, Steiner here went into a trance. So, uh, I guess I'll explain, explain that. Uh, what happens with Steiner's trance, is instead of him gaining some uh, fanciful ability, uh, his base damage, physical damage, actually triples, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, uh, just to make sure. So yeah, there's that. And let's wail on this guy finally. God, it, it seriously took forever to uh, get that leather plate. Uh, he's just, I don't know, its he's really stubborn with it, so... Just keep uh, keep on trucking, I guess, when you're trying to get that. And yeah, there he goes. And if you, whenever you hit him with a magic spell, he likes to uh, do a party attack on you. But uh, we managed to finish him off there, so... Or at least I think so. I guess I'll find out. Sometimes it, it's hard to tell when you're going out of trance like that if the battle's ended or... Yeah, there it is. And he rise on the ground. Why? Ah, victory at last. Oh, jeez. Seriously, that took forever to get that leather plate. But, uh... Oh, at least I got it. Nice little upgrade piece of armor there. Alright, so Blackwalt number two down. Did my mother really sent him to capture me? It can't be! There's no reason to trust the words of some bandit! God, Steinar... Uh, you need to, like, chill out and open your eyes or something, I don't know. Your noble upbringing cannot be disguised so easily. Uh, yeah, what the heck. Dagger has been trying hard. We saw her practicing. You're the one that's freaking running around. Yeah, right? Yelling princess everywhere. Jeez. About the border crossing. Why don't we hitch a ride on this airship, huh? <laughs> Steiner's like, oh, my plan, it's working perfectly. And Phoebe's kind of down in the dumps. Ah, okay, so, definitely choose to rest at the end before you depart. Because, uh, there is going to be a boss battle when you get on the ship, so you're probably going to want to be healed up for that. And you won't get healed up before you, uh, get on the ship, or when you get on the ship or anything, if you don't go back to the end, so, yeah. Uh, I guess I get minor spoiler spoilers. The boss is gonna be, uh, Black Vault number three, I don't know, I mean, it's been hinted at that there's another one, I mean, I think they mentioned that there's three, and not, not only that they're Black Waltzes, and a Waltz is in three, it's associated with, it, it has to do with three, so, there you go. There's three Black Waltzes, and all that stuff. And, so, yeah. We're back in the end, and this guy's faking sleeping. He's like, hmm? I thought they captured it already. 
and we get the scene again. This is I found this kind of odd that when you go back here, like the innkeeper's dialogue is different, kind of, but like other than that, the dialogue is pretty much the exact same. You think they switch it up a little bit? Although I think that maybe that's why they stuck that little uh, question there with Zayden. He's like, wait a second, didn't we already go through this whole thing? So yeah. Anyways, here we are back at the end, and I think this is actually quite the appropriate place to uh, end this video off. We accomplished quite a bit, and there's plenty to do in the next episode. So yeah, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode, and later.